Psalm 105. Give thanks to Jehovah. Call upon his name. Make known among the peoples his dealings. Sing to him. Make melody to him. Concern yourselves with all his wonderful works. Make your boast in his holy name. Let the heart of those seeking Jehovah rejoice. Search for Jehovah and his strength. Seek his face constantly. Remember his wonderful works that he has performed, his miracles and the judicial decisions of his mouth, O you seed of Abraham his servant, you sons of Jacob his chosen ones. He is Jehovah our God. His judicial decisions are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant even to time indefinite, the word that he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he concluded with Abraham and his sworn statement to Isaac, and which statement he kept standing as a regulation even to Jacob, as an indefinitely lasting covenant even to Israel, saying, To you I shall give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. This was when they happened to be few in number, yes, very few, and alien residents in it. And they kept walking about from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. He did not allow any human to defraud them, but on their account he reproved kings, saying, Do not you men touch my anointed ones, and to my prophets do nothing bad. And he proceeded to call for a famine upon the land. He broke every rod around which ring-shaped loaves were suspended. He sent ahead of them a man who was sold to be a slave, Joseph. With fetters they afflicted his feet, into irons his soul came, until the time that his word came, the saying of Jehovah itself refined him. The king sent that he might release him, the ruler of the peoples that he might let him loose. He set him as master to his household and as ruler over all his property to bind his princes agreeably to his soul and that he might teach wisdom to even his elderly men. And Israel proceeded to come into Egypt and Jacob himself resided as an alien in the land of Ham. And he kept making his people very fruitful and gradually made them mightier than their adversaries. He let their heart change to hate his people, to behave cunningly against his servants. He sent Moses, his servant, Aaron, whom he had chosen. They set among them the matters of his signs and the miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and so made it dark and they did not rebel against his words. He changed their waters into blood and proceeded to put their fish to death. Their land swarmed with frogs in the interior rooms of their kings. He said that the gadflies should come in, gnats in all their territories. He made their downpours hail, a flaming fire on their land. And he proceeded to strike their vines and their fig trees and to break the trees of their territory. He said that the locust should come in, and a species of locust, even without number. And they went eating all the vegetation in their land. They also went eating the fruitage of their ground. And he proceeded to strike down every firstborn in their land, the beginning of all their generative power. And he began to bring them out with silver and gold, and among his tribes there was no one stumbling along. Egypt rejoiced when they went out, for the dread of them had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for a screen, and fire to give light by night. They asked, and he proceeded to bring quails, and with bread from heaven he kept satisfying them. He opened a rock, and waters began to flow out. These went through the waterless regions as a river. For he remembered his holy word with Abraham his servant. So he brought out his people with exultation, his chosen ones even with a joyful cry. And gradually he gave them the lands of the nations, and they kept taking possession of the product of the hard work of national groups, to the end that they might keep his regulations and observe his own laws. Praise Jah, you people.